Sports leader none, Alexandra Vitalik. The St. Louis Cardinals have not been swept on the road all season and haven't been swept in Atlanta in more than 10 years. Well, that had to happen sometime, right? And it looks like tonight was that time. Atlanta wins 5-2 the final and will open a series tomorrow with Colorado. The Brickyard 400 is always one of the most significant stock car races of the year. And not just because it's held on one of the most storied tracks in America, but it usually provides a good mark to which drivers will be serious contenders for the championship in the fall. All right, here's what happened today in Indiana. Dale Earnhardt Jr. early trouble as he has a loose wheel on lap 13. He would go a lap down but battled back to finish sixth. Now this race would end up being decided on pit strategy with 27 to go. Jimmy Johnson pits and he takes four tries giving the lead to Ryan Newman. And then one lap later he gets in front of Johnson to keep the lead in the final lap. It's Newman who ends up taking the victory. His crew is ecstatic on pit lane. Then as tradition they all line up to kiss the bricks. We hear from Newman right now. Can come true. I don't think it can. It, it, if it hits you all at once, it's not good enough. It'll take a week or so for this to set in. And um, you know, just thank everybody for this opportunity. Everybody in my racing career, just as I said when I won the Daytona 500, uh, everybody that helped me get to that day. Same thing again. Thank you. And uh, just so appreciative for all these guys. They worked so hard. We've struggled on and off this year, but uh, just a, a great run today. Happy it stayed green. We needed that, but uh, you know that's racing. Heck, but uh, a great long run car with a quick and lone Chevrolet. And man, uh, what an ending to a day. He ended a 49 race losing streak with this win at the Brickyard 400. Good for him. That's a look at sports. Rosalind. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Tuesday afternoon. Better rain chances return by Wednesday and Thursday, but it heats up though tomorrow into Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Well, bittersweet announcement here. It's time for us to say goodbye to Justin. He's leaving us after two years of being here at WTVM. He's moving on to KAIT in Jonesboro, Arkansas. That's right. Doing mornings there off weekends finally, but mm -hmm. uh, definitely a bittersweet moment for me here. Going to miss my coworkers oh, yes, so much definitely. and definitely We're gonna miss you. all of you at home uh, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and everyone in the community that made the Chattahoochee Valley such a great place to Absolutely. live. Absolutely. Let's take a quick look at some video of Justin. No. Oh boy. Oh gosh. So back to that story in mm -hmm. sports though. The dog About story. barking. The dog barked first. That's what dogs do. How many but times do you bark at your dog? Do you ever bark at your dog? I don't bark at my dog. I don't know anyone who does that. I don't do it to mm. my dog. It's including, get this, bubble wrap, plastic toys, and inflatable <laughs> pool animals. <laughs> I think the Very weekend team there. needs to go and create one of yes. those and I, go yeah, yeah, the out there. Can you? Yeah, I yeah, can totally definitely. see us all out there. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> don't even go there. If you go faster, you don't think about it. Somebody hit the lights so we can learn day and night. Okay, if folks awesome. don't know what that was, those <laughs> yeah. couple of stories in there were from our, um, the I Challenge Justin segment that we used to do during Hometown yeah. Spirit, which was really mm -hmm. awesome <laughs> and fun to be able to do. Yeah, and I must say we've had so many laughs here, you know, on the camera and off the camera. Justin is a hoot to work with, <laughs> let me tell you. He keeps us on our toes. He keeps us laughing and <laughs> having fun. If we're quiet, he's like, what's going on, right? Yeah, it's always, it's never quiet around Justin. It we're is. We're going to miss you. It, it's, going, it's going to be hard, although it's a promotion for me and something that I'm really looking forward to and a blessing. God's given me a great opportunity. Uh, to head over to KAIT. I worked there before. I did weekends there, but doing mornings is going to be something that I like to do uh, to help to get folks there in the community off to a great start. But it, it's it's very hard to leave you of all course. here on the weekend working together. We've had such a um, great time. So many fun times together. <laughs> so many fun That's times. Last. But this isn't this isn't goodbye. This is just see you later. Uh, because I hope to come back and visit you guys here. Maybe a stop by or. So you definitely come back and see. And the viewers will get one last check of you tomorrow night. You'll mm -hmm. be forecasting the weather on the evening shows. On the evening shows, definitely check in starting at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Also want to thank <laughs> our director who oh, gave me nice. this UK hat right here. <laughs> he I'm a is big a hard UK, UK, fan. UK fan. Oh my goodness. Definitely Ooh. UK basketball fan. Yes. I also want to thank all the co-workers here though too for making WTV. I'm such a great place to work. Wow. Justin, give me a hug. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Good night, everyone. <laughs>